To achieve frequency modulation, we'll be taking two frequencies and summing them together in order to get some really cool sounds um, and to get a classic FM synth sound. I've got a patch here that's got an oscillator going into the final gain stage being controlled by this volume knob, so I've got a, a master volume control. There's no frequency going into the oscillator, so it's not producing a result. But since we're going to need to add two frequencies together, the first thing we need to do is create an addition audio object. Now, what we're going to do here is create a number atom and pipe that into the left inlet of the addition box and then pipe the sum into the oscillator. If I make the patch run now, you'll just hear this particular pitch or frequency. Okay, so now this, this is what we're going to call the carrier. This is the frequency to be modulated. So what we need now is the modulator. The modulator will consist of an oscillator that has its own frequency. And then this particular oscillator is going to go through a multiplication object so we can uh, curb the gain. And then the depth of the modulation will go into the right inlet of the multiplication object. So we'll create a number atom that goes into the right inlet. Now I'm doing this with the audio off uh, because I'll be very cautious to make sure I don't misconnect something. And this is mod index or depth. This is how far it's going to push the modulation. Now I take the result of this and I pipe it into the right inlet of the addition object. So now we'll turn the volume down and turn the audio engine on. And we hear the carrier frequency only. So what we'll do is we'll introduce a modulator frequency of 1 hertz and then begin to push the modulation index. You'll hear vibrato. And as the modulation index increases, you can hear how the vibrato becomes even wider. So now we're getting that classic FM sound. And now, this is just the amplitude, so we'd be summing straight to the carrier. It's as if we're adding the index to the carrier and changing the carrier pitch. So what's happening is that this bass pitch here is being moved up and down according to the modulation. Now you can do some really cool things with a metro and piping it into the modulation index and the modulation frequency. So we'll create a toggle and a metro at 125. And then a random number gem generator. And let's say random to 200. And we'll send this out, send NDX. So this is going to go into the mod index. Now we'll create a receive, receive NDX, and pipe it in. Okay, make another random number generator, one that's different so we can get a different set of random numbers. Same thing, except we're going to create an offset of 200. And put the random number into the 200. And move this. So send freak. And receive freak. Okay, and finally we're going to send amplitude changes. So for that, I'll be using random F because my knob goes from 0 to 0 0.5. You've got to be really ginger with amplitude. 
to zero to point, actually 2.2. So we're scaling the amplitude down considerably. Take the offset away and S amp and R amp. And so we'll introduce these one by one. So let's see, turn the volume down, get the audio engine started. Now this is moving the index. Let's introduce the modulator frequency. And now the amplitude. So you've got the beginnings of what could be a really cool synth patch. All we gotta do is learn how to map the key presses of a MIDI keyboard or any other um, object to the patch, and you'll be building a synth in no time.